Two United States senators are rewriting their standards for voting for a nominee for Secretary of State. BFFs John McCain and Lindsey Graham have decided that they can't vote for any nominee for Secretary of State who has said anything on TV, the truth of which cannot be proven beyond their standards of reasonable doubt. The shorter way of explaining their new standard is they can't vote for anyone named Susan Rice. Susan Rice appears to be the front runner now for Secretary of State. You told CBS last night that you will do everything to stop her confirmation. Why? She's not qualified. Anyone who goes on national television and in defiance of the facts five days later, uh, we're all responsible for what we say and what we do. Uh, I'm responsible to my voters. She is responsible to the Senate of the United States. Uh, we have our responsibilities for advice and consent. This is about the role she played around four dead Americans when it seems to be that the story coming out of the administration, and she's the point person, is so disconnected to reality, I don't trust her. And the reason I don't trust her is because I think she knew better, and if she didn't know better, she shouldn't be the voice of America. I don't think she deserves to be promoted. There are a lot of qualified people in this country the president could pick, but I am dead set on making sure we don't promote anybody that was an essential player in the Benghazi debacle. In order to sound like they actually have a reason to oppose Susan Rice for Secretary of State, they have to lie about her. You just heard little Lindsey Graham lying, Joe McCarthy style, about Susan Rice, calling her, quote, an essential player in the Benghazi debacle. The United States ambassador to the United Nations had absolutely nothing to do with the response to the attack in Benghazi. Lindsey Graham actually has the sleazy audacity to call her an essential player in those events. She was no more an essential player in what happened in Libya than Lindsey Graham and John McCain were. At 11.51 this morning, when Lindsey Graham told that lie, about Ambassador Susan Rice. Little Lindsey Graham, and I speak not of his physical stature, I speak of the size of this tiny man's character. Little Lindsey Graham became the Senate's new Joe McCarthy. The word liar belongs before his name now instead of senator until Lindsey Graham retracts that lie, until he says, I was wrong to call Ambassador Rice, quote, an essential player in the Benghazi debacle. That lie cannot stand. The media cannot allow it to stand, but we know better. We can be assured that the media will, for the most part, actually allow it to stand. Liar Lindsey Graham will continue to be invited on TV shows where that statement will not be called a lie. It may be challenged, but it will not be called a lie. Liar Lindsey Graham, of course, has an open invitation to come on this program and retract his lie or try to get away with it again and see how that works out for him here. Liar Lindsey Graham and John McCain are the same guys who had no problem voting for another woman named Rice to be Secretary of State, and they cast those votes after Condoleezza Rice failed miserably as George W. Bush's national security advisor, after she and everyone else in the Bush administration misread the intelligence on Iraq's weapons of mass destruction, as it turned out, non-existent weapons of mass destruction program. They had no problem voting for her after she went on national television and raised the specter of a mushroom cloud, her words, mushroom cloud, over the United States of America from an attack launched by Iraq. No more demented thing has ever been publicly said by a national security advisor, save for every word ever spoken by Henry Kissinger about Vietnam. When they voted for Condoleezza Rice for Secretary of State, they knew that everything Condoleezza Rice said about Iraq on television before the Iraq war was wrong. They did not exact an apology from her in exchange for their votes for Secretary of State. Today, Liar Lindsey Graham said this about the comparison between Susan Rice 
and Condoleezza Rice. When it comes to Condoleezza Rice, we're not the only country that thought he was trying to get weapons of mass destruction. So the Graham rule is, it's okay for highly placed foreign policy players in an administration to be wrong about something they say on TV involving intelligence as long as other people are wrong too.